Let's talk a little bit about kinetic theory. Um, this was a great mystery because uh, we knew what uh, kinetic energy and potential energy were uh, for a long time, but it wasn't qu for quite a while before they figured out uh, what heat was, right? Um, and there were all these theories, like heat was a, was a, you know, like a fluid that flowed through substance called substances called caloric and and all this stuff. But but uh, the good news is we know the answer, and I can tell it to you quickly, right? Is that that uh, temperature is something that's proportional to the average kinetic energy of a molecule. In fact, we used to have this great formula in the data packet, which related the the um, one fmv squared or the kinetic energy of a ideal gas molecule to the temperature. This is uh, Boltzmann's constant right there. Um, it's not in the data packet anymore, which is sort of sad, right? But this is the basic notion, is that, that uh, if something's hot, the atoms are vibrating more, and that's what these like you know parentheses are supposed to be, is that this one's really bopping, and that one's not bopping very fast. And I've got a great demonstration for this, um, so I won't spend too much time talking about it without that demonstration. Um, the notion is that the colder it is, the slower the molecules move, right? So this is slow, this is fast, right? The faster they move, fast-moving molecules is more heat, yay? Okay. The other thing that's kind of cool is that uh, hot is bigger, right? Uh, it turns out that the molecules, when they vibrate back and forth, um, actually spend more time farther apart than they do closer together. And so objects in general expand. Now, there's some notable exceptions to this. Um, things don't expand always, but, but in general, like, especially like metals, will expand as they get hotter. And so when you look at uh, the sidewalk or the edge of a bridge or something, you'll see these crazy things built into the side, or this is the most common thing, right? These, these are like the jaws of death, um, you know, and why are they there? Well, these things are there so that the roadway can um, expand into this space because this is a big piece of metal. It'll get pretty hot in the sun, and when it does expand, it'll need some space to expand into, right? What's going on here is that they've got a, a roadway and another piece of roadway like this, right? And then to cover up that gap, they've got a a little sliding section that covers it up, right? What's going on here is that they've got the teeth like that, and when it's really cold, they don't, you don't, it's not ideal to have a, um, a huge gap that people just drive over, right? Like kabam bam with your tires, right? So this keeps you from falling into that gap, unless you're a bicycle, in which case you can you know, still fall into that gap, as you'll discover with thin bike tires. Um, railroad rails, when you ride the rails, that kadunk dunk dunk that they make the noise of rails, right? That's that's because they have to leave gaps between the rails um, to allow for expansion, right? Railroad rails get pretty hot, too hot to touch in the sun, pretty cold in the Midwest anyway, right? Um, it turns out that Pyrex, Pyrex is actually a, a type of glass that doesn't expand um, very much when it heats up. So that's kind of a cool thing, which means that you can take a, you know, and of course the ad, they show the Pyrex bowl, and this part's in the ice, and this part's got a torch blowing on it, right, and the thing doesn't break, right, because the cold part's about the same size as the hot part, right. Um, I've been to Hiroshima, the museum there, and one of the, the uh, most uh, um, compelling things I saw was that, that uh, the, when the bomb went off, okay, there were people standing in front of the buildings, and they were, of course, vaporized by the radiation from the bomb, which came down, right? And, and they shaded the building, and they, and they left their outline in the building because, of course, when the, the blast from the bomb hit the granite, it immediately heated the granite exterior of the building to a bajillion degrees, which made it bigger than the granite below it, which made it fall off the building, except for where the people were. And, of course, the people left a little imprint of themselves. Uh, but anyway, I've got some demos that I'm going to show you um, when you come to class for this. I've got some good demos. Okay, good demos. I do. I promise I do.